quick shower, and let's go to work. Oh. All right, first up on the agenda is I've got to digitize all these books. And I got some validation of my idea to digitize books. Our um, balanced literacy person from Central Office came a couple days ago and mentioned to my principal how much she loved seeing my books up on the smart board. That way the kids could really see the pictures, could see the words. It, I gotta get busy, this is gonna take me a while. So I just want to kind of show you guys how I do my ELAR lessons. So when I have my first day, so my book, I've got my link right here that I click this and the book opens. Here's all the information I need, which all of this is also embedded within this book on each page that it needs to be. I've got our sight words and then on the sight words, the, the can song, which goes along with this like song. And then so here's our new song, the we song. I click this, it plays the song and this is the movement, the body movement that goes along with this we song. Um, this is just an alphabet song. They've got to guess the letters, and then they get to the letter M. And then if I click this letter M, it goes to YouTube to play an M song. Here's how to write the letter M. You need to move the red dot to show how to write it. Same thing lowercase, and then I've got a little easy reader that we're going to read together. Like that. And there's some nouns. That's just kind of a view of what I do for our ELAR. Everything I do is pretty much digital. I really like having everything up on the smart board. That way I can just keep the pace of my classroom going super quick. Getting close to being finished. I'm uh, at the moment planning stations and I'm also watching this great movie Inside, uh, Lewin Davis. Really good stuff. Anyway, I just want to kind of share what I'm doing in stations next week. So each day, each table is kind of being um, a color. So this table we've got orange. So this one's going to go in the learning notebook. Um, the color something that's orange. Write the word orange. Orange flip book. This works on one-to-one -one correspondence. And then cutting out the letters and gluing them in order. So learning how to spell the word orange. Same thing with the word purple. This is kind of a makeup from a color we did a couple weeks ago. We got yellow. Um, I know that's not yellow, but that's all I had. And then um, a review of the color red we learned the first week. And then the backup of this station is going to be iPads. And then if they finish this station, they can work with Play-Doh letters. If they can finish this station, they work with Alpha Boards. This station, um, LeapFrog. And then, of course, that station is iPads. I'm done. Let's go home. Overall, that was an awesome, awesomely productive day. I got a lot done. I got all the books digitized. I got everything taken care of. Lessons, I feel like the rest of the week are pretty much done, so I'm not gonna have to do a whole lot of work for the week, which allows me to hopefully, if I can get my time management skills a little bit better, hopefully allows me to start planning for next week during this week so that I don't have to come up on the weekend. <sighs> we'll see. All right, I'm heading to the grocery store. My lovely wife is not feeling super great today, and so she has requested some yummy butternut squash with some wild rice. So, be cooking that tonight. Let's go. to cooking with Erin. So today, uh, my wife is actually at the doctor right now. She's not super or feeling great. So I'm gonna be making her some butternut squash soup and some black rice. I'll post the uh, shopping list right here and then we can get started. All right, first things first, let's prepare the butternut squash. Alright, 
So we're gonna heat up. We're gonna heat up our pot. And of course use our avocado oil. You're gonna wanna add your shallots. And of course, you guys all know me. I love garlic, so I definitely use way more garlic than is called for. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let this simmer for about two minutes. All right, gonna add some onions that we chopped up. One onion. A little salt. All right, so I've just added my butternut squash to the mixture. All right, I like to pre-mix my seasoning first. So we're gonna need a pinch of salt, pepper, of course, some cumin. It's not in the recipe, but uh, I just love cumin. Curry powder, so I'm gonna be using three tablespoons. Okay, and we need half a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, so now you wanna add your seasoning. Give it a nice stir. Cover this bad boy. Simmer until it's nice and soft. All right, while I'm waiting for the butternut squash to soften, I'm gonna be making my black rice, which I usually buy in bulk, but I wasn't at the right store. So I'm using this black rice that I got at the grocery store. I enjoy black rice a lot more than regular rice because it's got a really nice earthy, kind of metallic um, iron flavor, which is kind of weird sounding, but it's real earthy, which goes really nice with the butternut squash. So I'm gonna take two cups of the rice and four cups of water. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Oh yes. All right, so this has been sauteing for about four or five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add an entire um, package of vegetable broth. And then two cans of, well, of coconut milk. One. Now I went ahead and used one light and one regular, just because I like to kind of mix it up. All right, it also calls for some maple syrup. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use a little uh, amber agave. And if you're feeling a bit on the dangerous side, you can add some garlic chili sauce, which is spectacular. Oh uh, yeah. All right, you also wanna bring this to a low boil, and you're gonna let it simmer for like mm, 15, 20 minutes until everything's nice and smooth. So, see you in 15 minutes. All right, now the fun part. Immersion blender until it's nice and smooth. Oh, a quick tip, don't lift it out while you're blending it or it will splatter scalding hot soup all over you. All right, last thing you wanna do, taste it and uh, flavor it accordingly. Mm. Yes. And that's how we make a butternut squash soup with some black rice, Ooh, yes. So I'm gonna call it quits right now. I gotta take care of my sick wife. Guess what? I gave her strep throat. His fault. My fault. You did it. I feel so sad. So I'm gonna take care of my wife. See you guys in the morning. 